With over 4,000 slithering species slithering across our vibrant planet, snakes reign as one of the most diverse and captivating groups of animals. I know, I know, snakes may not be everyone's cuddle buddy, but trust me, when you see these stunning creatures, you'll be singing a different tune. Many of the most beautiful snakes are also the most deadly like the blue Malayan coral snake, and their beauty should be looked at from afar. As beauty is very subjective, the following snakes are in no particular order. Without further ado, let's take an up-close look at the most beautiful, colorful, vivid, unique, and overall unforgettable species within the absolutely massive Serpentes suborder. At number 12, we have the red-headed krite. It is a very beautiful and highly venomous snake with a black or bluish black body and a bright orange or red head and tail. It can grow to be 2.1 meters long and is a rare species that lives in forested lowlands and hills below 900 meters elevation. The red-headed crate is one of the most toxic snakes in Southeast Asia. It's found in countries like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore, and a number of Malaysian and Indonesian islands. There is no specific antivenom for its venom. It feeds on skinks, frogs, lizards, small mammals, cassilians, and the eggs of other snakes. Next, at number 11, we have the Butterfly Viper, also known as the Rhinoceros Viper. It is a large, beautiful, and colorful snake with prominent nasal horns. It has patterns of red, blue, yellow, and black scales that help it blend in with its surroundings. It is also a venomous snake, and it's found in the forests of West and Central Africa. The snake prefers wet or damp environments, such as rainforests and swamps, and can even be found on plantations. The butterfly viper is an ambush predator that uses camouflage to wait for prey. When it strikes, it sinks its hollow fangs into its victim and delivers a deadly hemotoxic venom. This venom attacks the circulatory system of the snake's victim, destroying tissue and blood vessels. Moving on, the Formosan odd-scaled snake, also known as Taiwan burrowing snake, comes in at number 10. It's a snake species that shimmers with rainbow iridescence. It is a non-venomous snake that is native to Taiwan and the southern Ryukyu Islands of Japan. It is harmless to humans and spends its time hunting worms, frogs, and other small prey. The species is nocturnal, but put it under light, and its whole body dances with color. The Formosan odd-scaled snake is a small snake that can grow to be up to 90 centimeters long. Its body is iridescent and has 23 to 29 rows of keeled scales. The snake's scales are not much larger than the adjacent scales on the outermost row of the upper face of the post-cloacal region. At number 9, we have the rainbow snake. It is another species with a name that suits it perfectly. It is a large, non-venomous snake that is native to the coastal plains of the southeastern United States. It is also known as the eel moccasin because adults only eat eels. These mostly aquatic snakes have a truly mesmerizing coloration, particularly on their sides and bellies, with alternating scale colors of bright red, yellow, black, brown, and orange. There were originally two subspecies, though one of them is unfortunately extinct as of 2011. Like many of the beautiful snakes on this list, the eel moccasin is highly reclusive. It usually stays hidden in the water, amongst the dense plant growth in the marshes and swamps of its native habitats. Next at number 8, we have the California red-sided garter snake. It is a subspecies of the common garter snake found in North America. They are native to California, ranging from Humboldt County south to San Diego. These snakes are predominantly coastal and are usually found near freshwater wetlands. There are actually three distinctly colorful subspecies of the common garter snake, the California red-sided variety, however, is perhaps the most beautiful, with either vivid blue or yellow stripes stretching across its brightly colored red body. The snake's head is typically bright red as well, making it stand out against the drab, swampy habitat in which it lives. Its very mild venom is not harmful to humans, and the snake itself is not very aggressive towards humans anyway. They are medium-sized, and their favorite foods include frogs, toads, tadpoles, fish, earthworms, snails, leeches, grasshoppers, slugs, and salamanders. At this point, if you've enjoyed getting tangled up in the mesmerizing world of beautiful snakes with us, don't be a hista and hit that subscribe button now. Moving on! 
Coming in at number seven, we have the Spiny Bush Viper. It's also known as the Hairy or Rough-Scaled Bush Viper. It is mainly unique for its bizarre yet beautiful, outward-pointing, keeled scales, which give it a strikingly dragon-like appearance. Like most vipers, these particular snakes are brightly colored with flat, broad heads, short snouts, and large, protruding eyes. This snake's coloration varies from bright greens and yellows to oranges, browns, and grays. It mainly inhabits hot, humid rainforests in Western and Central Africa, in countries like Cameroon, Nigeria, Uganda, Kenya, and Ghana. There are a few subspecies, all of which are similar in appearance, size, color, and geographical range. Though the bush viper isn't very aggressive towards humans, its hemotoxic venom is quite potent. However, only a few isolated human deaths have been attributed to the species. At number six, we have another iridescent, non-venomous, burrowing reptile, the sunbeam snake. There are actually two species within the Xenopeltis genus, collectively known as sunbeam snakes. Both species are native to Southeast Asia and its surrounding islands. Sunbeam snakes owe their beauty primarily to the highly iridescent scales that cover their entire bodies. While their main body color is a drabber gray, black, or brown, this color shifts wildly in direct sunlight. They can be hard to find and very reclusive though, as they are highly fossorial and are usually burrowing underground. However, when these snakes come up to the surface to hunt for food in the evenings and early morning hours, they're a truly unforgettable sight. Tiny rainbows dance across their scales in the sun as they slither about and constrict their unfortunate prey. Next at number five, we have the rainbow boas. They are a species of non-venomous snake native to Central and South America. They are also known for their iridescent skin that refracts light to create a rainbow-colored effect. Rainbow boas are semi-arboreal, meaning they climb in the wild and in captivity. They are slender snakes with smooth scales and a transparent upper layer. Adult rainbow boas typically grow to be about five feet long. Rainbow boas are active at night and like to climb. Brazilian rainbow boas are a type of rainbow boa that are native to the Amazon River Basin. They have a layer in their skin called a reda fors that reflects a greater number of light wavelengths. This gives the snakes their iridescent appearance. Brazilian rainbow boas are slow growers, taking about five years to reach full maturity. At number four, we have the blue Malayan coral snake. These beautiful yet highly venomous snakes are, like several others on this list, also native to Southeast Asia. Their coloration is absolutely stunning, with bright blood-red heads and tails, bluish-black bodies, and thin sky-blue stripes running down the snake's sides. They can be hard to find and properly document, as they are quite reclusive and semi-fossorial. These snakes spend most of their time burrowing in the dirt and leaving in their heavily forested, mountainous habitats. While they aren't particularly aggressive, Blue Malayan coral snakes can occasionally kill humans with the help of their long venom glands that house powerful cytotoxic venom. Fortunately though, this is rare, as humans are most certainly not on their menu. Notably, they mostly feed on other, smaller snakes. If you ever spot one of these snakes in the wild, consider yourself either lucky or, well, possibly not so lucky. Keeping a safe distance is key, as there's currently no antidote or anti-venom available to counteract their strong bite. Next, we have the white-lipped island pit viper, coming in at number three. This stunning viper is one of the world's most attractive snakes. It is indigenous to Southeast Asia. The white-lipped island pit viper is green above, with yellow, white, or pale green on the sides of its head below the eyes. Its belly is green, yellowish, or white below. They are carnivorous and feed on prey in their immediate vicinity. Their natural habitat is in dry monsoon forests at elevations of up to 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet above sea level, where they may be found in trees. It uses its venom to weaken its prey, which consists of birds, small frogs, and small mammals. It strikes and holds on to its prey until it dies. Pit vipers are named after their heat-sensing organs called pits, which are the holes between their eyes and nostrils. They have big elliptical pupils, keen for night vision, and a sensitive forked tongue able to taste the smallest molecules in stereo. At number two, we have the gold-ringed cat snake, also known as mangrove snake. At first glance, you might think that this snake looks exactly like a bumblebee. Colorful snakes like this one don't come by often. The colors of this lovely snake will surely catch your eye, 
as its body is mostly black, but it is ringed with vivid yellow bands. The gold-ringed cat snake is found in Australasia and the Indo-Malayan realm. It is one of the largest cat snake species, averaging 6 to 9 feet, or 1.8 to 2.7 m in length. It is considered mildly venomous, hence its venom isn't potent enough to kill a person. During the day, the gold-ringed cat snake remains motionless on branches. At night, it becomes active and comes to the ground to feed on other vertebrates, including rodents, small birds, frogs, bats, and sometimes other snakes. It is also a skilled swimmer. Finally, at number one, we have the eyelash viper. This is a venomous pit viper found in Central and South America. They are small arboreal snakes with a wide range of colors, including pink, blue, red, brown, green, and yellow, which is the most common they are distinguished by a set of modified scales above their eyes that look like eyelashes. Their preferred habitat is mainly in low elevation, heavily shaded, and densely forested areas close to water. Interestingly, researchers currently believe the viper's eyelashes help it to better camouflage itself by making its outline more difficult to make out when the snake hides amongst dense plant growth. Though they are somewhat small compared to most other pit vipers, these ambush predators are highly accurate, expert hunters. Thankfully, despite their venomous nature and extremely sharp fangs, they aren't very aggressive toward humans. In fact, eyelash vipers are reclusive and tend to avoid us at all costs. They primarily feed on small animals like frogs, rodents, lizards, and occasionally birds. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell us your favorite snakes in the comment section below. Remember, Beauty lies not just in the scales, but in the respect we offer to all creatures, great and small. Your subscription to the channel will go a long way in motivating us to make more interesting content. Thank you for joining me on this journey.